Hello everyone and welcome back to the Auburn University RFID Lab. My name is Justin Patton. I am the director of the lab. A lot of updates for you today. Uh, first and foremost, we had our board meeting uh, this past week. Great board meeting, huge turnout. Uh, this time we uh, divided the uh, retail and the aviation board meetings because of some other events that are going on on campus. So most of the day was focused on, on retail. And a couple things just kind of as updates. Uh, a lot of lab updates, uh, new equipment's going in the lab, so on and so forth. Um, Synthel gave us an update on the uh, ARC program. Uh, there's been an uptick in submissions for new inlay manufacturers coming to the market, and we talked a lot about some of the quality issues that we're seeing and we're trying to address, um, which are going pretty well. Uh, the quality program has been pretty popular, and uh, we definitely see a need for it with some of the new uh, submissions coming along. Um, we had some guests that came in and spoke about several of the programs. Our friends at Nike talked about some of their RFID efforts. Uh, Prevagen uh, did an outstanding presentation on uh, RFID and how they're using that for uh, brand protection. It was really good. Uh, we talked to our friends up at the Aniston Army Depot. And they talked a little bit about uh, the Army Depot and some of the needs and things that they have there. It was really cool. Um, and then finally, uh, we talked through some of the grant projects and things. So um, food safety uh, with cattle and oysters. Uh, the FIWIN program with Dr. Mao. Um, we encourage anyone who's interested in uh, IUCRC uh, through the RFID lab uh, to contact us. We're working on getting uh, that FIWIN uh, IUCRC application finalized between Auburn and uh, Georgia Tech now. Good stuff. Um, and finally, uh, a couple of research updates on upcoming grants and things that we just finished. So let me take you through those. One, first and foremost, is Project Zipper is done. It is released. We've been talking about that for almost a year now. The first phase is out. Uh, the results were very good. Um, we were lucky enough to get some benchmarking between uh, companies that are using RFID to reconcile their shipments as they leave the brand and show up at the retailer versus companies that are not using RFID yet. Uh, the results were night and day. Um, what we found is that for brands who are using RFID to reconcile outbound shipments, their uh, shipment accuracy basically went up to 100%. We saw one single item error in a year's worth of data, which is absolutely incredible when you look at, you know, we're talking about millions of records here. Um, for the other side, the brands that are not yet able to do RFID uh, reconciliation, but they are using it to monitor their shipments, we found that um, about 30% of the time, 31% of the time, we don't have any discrepancies between what the brand shows that they sent on the SN and what the retailer shows that they received on the other side. That means that in about 70% of the orders, there is some type of disagreement between what the brand put in their SN and what the retailer shows that they received. That is a big uh, number. And we are going through in phase two and we're putting some financials behind that on the claim side. Uh, but it seems to be there's some pretty significant gains to be found uh, immediately right off the back in terms of claims compliance. So go get that zipper report, read it if you like. Um, there's a webinar available. GS1 has an entire web page dedicated to zipper and, and uh, how it's going forward. So uh, lots of resources there. Contact us if you have any questions. So zipper phase one is wrapped. Moving into zipper phase two now. If you're interested in participating, give me a call. Let me know. Um, we're always interested in adding new brands and retailers to that project. Second thing, and this is really uh, exciting, is uh, for the past um, really about eight months, we have had various different um, people within the board working on a subgroup focusing on blockchain. Um, we have finally gotten to the point to where we're ready to put together a, a pilot project focusing on uh, serialized item level data through the retail supply chain. Um, we had our meetings before the board meeting and a few calls. Uh, GS1 has been gracious enough to donate us some support to help keep that project together. Uh, Alan Gully within the lab has been promoted to where he is now in charge of uh, uh, blockchain strategy and alignment. We've got a lot of project partners that are ready to go. We've got some solution providers that are helping support this. We've got three different subgroups focused on security, uh, focused on business value, and then focused on data standards. Um, this thing is uh, off to the races, so we're fixing to start adding in partners. Um, within the next few weeks. Again, if you're interested in participating, let me know. 
Um, we would love to have you engaged and involved in this. We've got about 50 people in there right now from probably 20 something organizations. So about to see more about this in the news real soon, but we're about to get into some serious uh, uh, business value proposition from the serialized supply chain data. Something we've wanted to do for 10 years. Now we're finally here. A couple more things to give you some updates on uh, papers that have recently been published or upcoming and going. Uh, the latest uh, issue of uh, IEEE transactions on industrial electronics. We have a paper in there now. Uh, John, uh, Dr. John Zhang, he is our, um, uh, he's a postdoc at the lab right now, but really he's more than that because he is helping us uh, significantly with uh, uh, new developments in algorithms and, and uh, things that we can do with uh, RFID technology in the lab. Um, so he has a few papers out there now. This is the most recent one. Uh, go out there and check it out uh, or give us a call and, and we'll be happy to uh, uh, provide you with that and other previous research as well. A few grant proposals that are coming along. Uh, we have an RFID in education um, program that we're looking for for undergraduate STEM students. Uh, that's going through uh, right now. Um, we have another one that is looking for um, uh, using RFID to measure posture. Uh, essentially what's happening is uh, we can put standard passive UHF RFID tags on clothing and apparel so that when uh, someone is in a hospital or when they're sleeping, whether it's an infant or an adult, we can tell exactly where they are, where they're moving, where they're not moving uh, without having to put kind of uh, camera systems on them which tend to be a little bit um, on the privacy side and concerning. Um, this would help with many different medical issues, especially when you're talking about overnight things uh, with monitoring patients and stuff. So that grant proposal is going through now. Oysters, uh, Oyster Farm, uh, Dr. Bill Walton down on the coast at the Dolphin Lab. Um, we've been working with them for a while now. We are in the process of putting together a grant to try to uh, work with, I believe, one of the local high schools down there and uh, put together a um, RFID-enabled oyster farm. Uh, for food safety tracking through supply chain, fun stuff. Uh, plus, we get to go hang out on an oyster farm, which is different than uh, most things you would see. And then finally, um, you may have seen this coming through the lab a few times before. Um, we've been doing robotic systems for several years now. We've been doing drone systems for several years as well. Both of those programs have matured to the point to where they're ready for field trials. We put together some grants for um, making them work together. So essentially uh, putting a, a UAV and a UGV uh, functioning and tag team to uh, do uh, inventory scanning on an environment. This is really cool stuff. Um, this is a, a kind of a asynchronous autonomous navigation between those units and using uh, multiple types of sensors, uh, computer vision, RFID, um, Wi-Fi, and a few other things to really get a good uh, a picture and vision of the environment around us in a warehouse or in a store. Cool stuff, more to come very soon. Um, I believe that this is going to be the most uh, functional version of a drone and ground robot system out there on the market to date and uh, is definitely going to be the only one that's using both I think so um, if you're interested in that give us a shout and we would be happy to show you that as well. Finally one last thing, um, upcoming events. Um, we have RFID Journal Live Europe which is November 5th and 6th. I will be there, Dr. Hargrave will be there, um, many of you all will be there too. Um, we're doing our retailer breakfast uh, as we do every year. I think it's for retailers and brands. If you're interested, you can contact Mark or Birdie or us if you're a retailer or brand that's going to be there. Uh, it's pretty cool. We put together kind of a discussion group uh, that's just focused with those uh, retailers and brands in the room together so they can speak freely about their um, projects and opportunities specifically focused on the European market. Then after that will be NRF next year and the next board meeting going into February. So um, we're about to get into the holiday season. Um, but um, the work doesn't slow down, it doesn't stop. So lots of good stuff happening right now. It's been a really good year for us, y'all. Um, we look forward to seeing you down here soon. So um, uh, give me a call, come see us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.